The following is a presentation of TFNN. The P Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, David White. And welcome all to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your humble, lovable, and squeezably soft host. As always, we like to come to you at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. And we were uh, down almost to 2,900 on the S&P cash. We're printing a 2923. Let me update that just to make sure. 20, yeah, 2923 and a half. Uh, down 14 and a half. Dow's off 58. Nasdaq's off 64. Russell's down 15. Of course, we were off a great deal more than that. Um, options suggest that we're going to bounce around these levels probably till midweek next week. I don't expect, uh, or let me put it this way, I expect uh, to see range-bound trading for a little while as we grind off some of the overbought conditions of the last couple of days. Um, volume, uh, even through some of the worst parts uh, of the day, earlier part of the day, uh, were not all that exciting. Uh, as we started the show yesterday, we had about 5.2%. Uh, I think 5.2 or 5.3 billion shares, doing about 4.1 billion shares right now. So what are we, 20% lighter? Uh, it could have been lighter, but actually for the pullback and what we've had so far today, not too bad. Uh, that doesn't mean we go blow out to 29.50 anytime soon. In fact, there's a, a great deal of evidence that says we're just, like I said, range bound for a handful of days. I would expect that we get a lot of people shorting the market. Uh, and I think I said it earlier, um, sell off in the mornings and then, uh, or, or shorting in the mornings only to cover later in the day. I think that's going to be the pattern. When that pattern stops, I'd probably be uh, of the mind to think a little bit more bearish than I am now. Uh, but we had what I'm thinking is a pretty much a false breakdown uh, and why I don't see a great deal higher in the indexes, uh, there are some individual stocks that I think will do well over the next period, probably into the middle part of September. Hard to think that the summer's almost over. Of course, us down in Florida have done nothing but build arcs because it's not, done nothing but rain. Uh, we've had a little bit of a respite. Uh, this is when, of course, we start looking for uh, hurricanes. Uh, but uh, probably going to be fairly mild uh, from temperatures in the Gulf so uh, so far. But eh, it just takes the right roll of the dice uh, to uh, pop one out. Uh, but uh, just steamy and hot. We've got basically eight months of perfect weather and about two months where it's too cold and about two months where it's too hot and humid. But the other eight months are about perfect as you can get. And uh, once we break through the end of August, I will be a happy boy. Be doing a lot more sailing. Uh, what else is going on in the markets today? Well, we had a lot of earnings. Uh, and I think the bigger move in the market actually changed a great deal, or actually over, uh, we'll say overshadowed uh, the movement in the market. On the upside, we have Puma Biotechnology overstock. Dot com is up 16%. Uh, Puma is, uh, or is up 21%. Uh, the Appian Corporation up 16%. Uh, Paylocity uh, up 9%. Uh, Bio Delivery Sciences up 8%. Yelp up 8%. Westport Fuel Systems. I know someone was calling in that for a while. We'll look at that today and see if there's any sign this thing is off the bottom. Uh, with dirt cheap natural gas... Uh, is it still worth um, eight grand to take a car and turn it into a natural gas car? In some places like Las Vegas, 
Um, it's by law. The taxis have to run on natural gas. Uh, but the question is, at eight grand, is it worth it for anything else? I think uh, the Ford, F, the cheapest one is a Ford F-150 uh, to natural gas conversion that Westport makes. I think that's $8,000. If natural gas was always going to stay low, probably an interesting idea. They may be doing a little bit better just because of the incredible low uh, price of natural gas. And the question is whether or not it's going to stick. It could. Uh, but uh, don't want to do all that. Uh, uh, Callaway Golf Company up 7.5%. Uh, uh, and uh, on the loser side, Farfetch Limited down 45%. Uh, they have about 600 boutiques all over the world with a boutique kind of clothing for women. Uh, but, uh, man, that's pretty nasty, 45%. They're in uh, kind of like all the weird places that everybody thinks are hip to be in these days. Um, Vivint Solar, uh, down almost 21%. I haven't been a fan of solar technology. They still have to solve the issue of storage, which they have not. Uh, Dropbox off 14% DBX. Um, we continue to go down a road where it may be impossible for these smaller companies to go it alone. Um, we talked about that when this went public, uh, that I wasn't a big fan of it. We'll take a look at that and some other ones here today. Turtle Beach down 10%. And of course, that was the big run on gaming for headsets uh, for gaming um, and a handful of others. Let's do a little history. Uh, when we come back from the break, we'll do um, some of those charts and earnings. Just a little bit of history repeating. Well, I see that we have uh, Michael from Toronto on, so we will interrupt this and come back to it for a second. How are you doing today, Michael? Hi, thanks for taking my call. Uh, I'm looking at Canadian Natural Resources, ticker symbol CNQ on New York. Okay. My theory is that... Um, Canadian oil and gas stocks are, are bottoming just prior to the start of the federal election, which is the third week of October. And if Trudeau's liberals lose, the carbon tax will be removed and uh, a more pro-oil and gas exploration government will basically uh, boost these stocks. Last I saw... His approval rating was like 15%. Which Does that one? sound about right? Trudeau? Yeah. The drama teacher. Yeah. Um, he failed first year hey, engineering some kind on the of, Hill, eh? And kind he switched to uh, the classic. Is there some kind of uh, big... Uh, I haven't followed that closely. I just remember there's some kind of big deal where he's involved in some kind of scandal. Or maybe it's one there's of the so guys... There's so many, I lost count. What's that? Uh, he, there's so many, he, I lost count. <laughs> okay, you want to hang on through the break? We'll come back here in just a minute and talk about Canadian resources. I'll look at a few other things before we come back with Michael in Toronto. Be back in just a second. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And we're back. Uh, Michael's still on the line. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I went through the uh, earnings call uh, in uh, C&Q during the break, and... I think you may be on something here twofold. Uh, I, I like your thoughts of, um, you know, a change in government, changing the, the uh, view of uh, fossil fuels. Uh, but yeah. also uh, from their earnings call, they're talking a great deal about being able to pump, you know, maybe 40% more in the coming year or two as the mm -hmm. Keystone Pipeline and some of these other ones actually come online for them. So I think there may be something in there. Technically, uh, you yeah. want a test of $21.85. Uh, and this thing kind of looks like it wants to go down there and test that. Uh, that's uh -huh. the December 26, 2018 low. Uh, you just need it with a little bit less than uh, 2 million shares. I mean, it, it was 2.8 on that December 26 low. Um, but I think you're about right. You know, we've got, you know, maybe the first. When's the election? Uh, it's the third week of October. I think that I think maybe this is kind of setting up for maybe the first week or two of September. The way this is uh. up. So maybe maybe other people are going to start getting the idea that you have. Um, that's one idea. But I think you've got two things that could really work well. One is the elections. The other uh, is this oncoming stuff that they talked about in their last earnings call, uh, which are the two new pipelines uh, that could be 500,000 barrels. Uh -huh. I think that was a day. So th 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 it looks like business could dramatically pick up for them. They did talk in their earnings call about the political cloud that was kind of over them at the moment. So I, I think at least there are two good options there. Um, technically, you just need a good test of 2185. And I think you're off to the races on that. At least a low risk, risk reward trade. Let's go back a little bit farther. Yeah, that 2185 um, is it. Uh, the other okay. nice thing is the uh, Baker Hughes oil numbers came out, uh, and the, you know there's been a lot of uh, expansion in Canada. Why there hasn't been that much expansion in the amount of oil rigs down here in the United States? And, of course, some of that stuff is going to come off come fall when it gets too cold to pump it through the 
pipes and stuff. Uh, but I, I think you're there. I think you're just maybe a little early. Uh, so you don't I, think uh, we we bought them this past week? Um, what if say say we did bought them this week? What price level would you would you say confirms um, the upside? I would want a test of uh, below fifty on the crude. Mm -hmm. I think you could get it even if it's just a day or two. Mm -hmm. And you know we we I don't you know the Saudis are trying to keep the price up. It doesn't seem yeah, like it's up there's a whole lot of them of them doing that. I think like we had the washout in. Uh, let me do this. Hang on. Let me pick up. Uh, the futures here. Um, like we uh, talked about, uh, crude's up two bucks right now. I would like a test, kind of a bigger washout, kind of like we had in the equity markets this week, down to about 50. And I think, like I said, the way this thing's set up, it's not bad, but man, you really want to test a 2185. I think that okay. really makes your risk reward much better. You, you know, you had two and a quarter million shares uh, going into those candles of December 26th and had 2.8 million shares. So it's not bad, but your odds are going to be dramatically better if it does test 2185. On lighter volume. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you get in there with like two million shares, I think that is a nice setup. I like the fundamentals of the two things we talked about. Um, you know, the, the problem here is the uh, year 2308 low uh, just gets a bounce to 25 bucks, which is this gap higher on yeah. uh, the first of uh, uh, gap lower, excuse me, on the first of August. So you really don't have that much in the way of a range. I mean, it would be a nice short trade. Um, now, can you just continue going higher for me? Can you? Yes, but you don't have a good technical signal. So I miss a lot of stocks, but at the same time, I don't miss them when they go back and test their lows. Uh, as they say, you would rather be out wishing you were in than in wishing you were out. Um, but I can see, I mean, there's a lot of things that show up in the very last weeks of August in the first week of September for lows in crude and uh, natural gas. So I kind of like this time frame. Um, you know, I generally when you see a huge washout in natural gas, that's the next uh, time to take a look for a run in actual crude, because that crude production kind of eh, they're always shorting natural gas uh, to be long crude. It's kind of a natural hedge for those people in the oil industry. But yeah, you know, I was hoping we get down to about 50, and okay. what do we get down to? About 52.50. I did not look. See and I what's the best way to trade the natural gas? Would you trade the futures, or is there an ETF or a certain stock that's uh, that you prefer? No. Um, like you said, this one is probably going to be the outlier uh, in the fact that it's Canadian and it's got some other stuff for it. Um, mm -hmm. U.S., I don't imagine that there's that big a catalyst uh, for energy stocks. I think, like you're right, though, that, you know, a big change in politics in Canada could really unlock yeah. some of that. So I, I, I yeah, think you've got I'm something. Anticipating. I'm anticipating that once the public opinion polls are, are published and they realize that the conservatives may may form a majority government, um, the, the TSX oil and gas indice will begin just to run. It will just begin to rally hard. Yeah, I, I so it, you know, the the rumor, sell the news. So the, yeah, the like, polls come I, out, they're bullish, Trudeau's losing, uh, liberals are losing, um, so the market just runs, runs to the upside. Yeah, it could be. I, I like that, you know, if it would have tested 2185 already, I would have liked it. You are, mm -hmm. you know, you're about a buck, what, buck 25 above that December 26 low. And it's so close. I'm going to say 80% of the time, this chart pattern is going to say that you're going to test that 2185. So you know you got your one out of five chance. Okay. You got your one out of five chance that it that it doesn't. So it's not a hundred percent. It's uh -huh. just 
about 80%. And, you know, long summer, you get into 24th or something. It's not a big deal if this comes down a couple of bucks. So, uh, you okay. know, you can be in it with a tight stop now. Um, I would uh, be a little bit uh, uh, less bold and wait for the test of the low. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. You bet. Uh, and let's go back to our history which is already in progress. And it's all just oh. a little bit of history. Ah, look, we're already into the commercial. We'll be back. And we'll get into our history at the bottom of the hour. of least resistance is david white's daily trading newsletter and if you're looking for active trading ideas then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service david uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his path of least resistance newsletter using a combination of equity trades along with options david keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're back on this day in 1999. AMD, uh, AMD introduced a new brand new named to compete with Intel in 1999. The Athlon processor replaces the K7 and adds a 3D Now technology. Processor was introduced with the speeds of 500 megahertz. Ooh, just 650 megahertz. Ooh, prices went from 249 to 849, which kind of, uh, eh, I'm gonna say maybe even a little higher than they are today. Uh, of course, you've had uh, five, six generations what eight generations 
maybe about eight or nine generations of Moore's Law since then. Uh, AMD does have a fairly new processor. I was talking to a couple of people that are looking at buying new machines. Uh, if we have enough time in the 3.30 uh, time slot with Tom O'Brien, we'll talk about uh, the war between AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA, uh, because it is uh, shaping up to be a, a lot of uh, food fight coming in the next, uh, I don't know, nine months or so. Really looks interesting to me, but I think there's going to be a lot of action and trading opportunities in all three of those stocks as uh, they collide uh, and go into competition in a variety of different ways. Maybe we'll get a chance to talk that through at 3.30. Um, as we said, we were going to get into earnings. Uh, of course, uh, not much going on uh, uh, before Monday, but even then, uh, it's going to be kind of quiet uh, when we get into earnings. Uh, if I got it there. Oh, that's something else. Uh, let's see we get in here. Um, even Tuesday, uh, not a lot going on. Let's see if there's anything after Tuesday. Um, the only thing that looks like it could really run would be Tilray. That's uh, after the bell on Tuesday. Uh, as far as uh, what's going on today, we'll try to race through these as fast as we can. Axon Enterprises down uh, to its previous gap up on May 5th, um, he had 700,000 shares on that day up. You went down and tagged it today with 3.3 million shares. So you know you're going to need some consolidation uh, down at that $56 level. ACRS, which is the Claris Therapeutics, uh, just continues to be in a downtrend. Nothing uh, new in that one. Uh, Adamas uh, Pharmaceuticals, uh, this is still in kind of a downtrend. Um, it did spike down lower. Uh, it's almost back into this trading range today, though. Got down to $4.87. Um, actually, fairly bullish action in this. I'm going to check it out more over the weekend. Alarm, A-L-R-M, uh, one of the bigger ones that spiked today but gave it all back up before the uh, before we're close here today. Got to 56 bucks, but back down under 50 now. Fairly bearish. Uh, to, to, and, of course, anybody that had an opportunity was getting out of that stock today. Uh, APPN, uh, one of the ones that has broken out and did it with volume. You've already got 2 million shares. Uh, you needed about 1.8, so you may end up with 2.2, 2.5, somewhere in that range. So you may want to look at that. That is a valid breakout of the previous highs. On the downside, ASUR, huge down candle down to $5.51. Uh, as uh, Tom O'Brien likes to say, everybody's in a losing position, really going back to the first of the year on that one now. Uh, there are no winners. The house has raked it all back in. ATVI, which is Activision Blizzard, um, and not really any worse for the wear uh, from the last couple of days down today. He eh, probably would have liked a little less volume, but of course, in the crosshairs politically. AVT, which is Avnet, uh, is back down to its previous low with higher volume. This is a uh, supplier and distributor of a lot of uh, electronic components here in the U.S. I don't know if that really says that much. Uh, bio delivery sciences up, but not that much volume today in a going into a fairly deep uh, downtrend that goes back to July the 3rd on the downside. I mean, you've got some nice big candles, 1.3 uh, million shares, and, and you didn't really have that much volume down at the July 30th low. Uh, last couple of days are good. Expect one more uh, bar up for three advancing soldiers. BYND, Beyond Food, uh, as I say in the den, it's Soylent Green, and Soylent Green is people. Beyond Meat, Impossible Meat, um, and yeah, what can you say? Um, again, a lot of these stocks are fairly thinly traded. A lot, Most of the shares are on the shelf of a lot of these IPOs, and you got to watch out uh, a great deal. Uh, the idea 
in pushing out huge amounts of shares is to put out the small amount, get everybody to kind of bid it up, and once it's bid up, start letting those shares back out. And then, of course, uh, the, when the saps have got all they can stand, uh, you really start letting it go and the stock pulls back. I just don't understand uh, this one. Uh, if you want to talk valuations, uh, valuations for this kind of in the range of what valuations are for Tesla. Um, again, I think uh, GoPro is probably a good model for a lot of these uh, in that all the future is already in it. Uh, CBS gap down a little bit, but not much volume. I don't see much changing there for them other than the fact that everybody is cutting cords and it's getting worse. Um, don't see a lot of new shows that I think are going to drag a lot of people to CBS this year. Um, but uh, I could be wrong. Maybe there's some more that I just haven't seen come out. I'm only down to two shows, and one of them is going off the air, and that's uh, Elementary. I think, uh, yeah, elementary's on CBS. But uh, that's the one show I watch, and it's going. So I don't know about that. Uh, DBX, as we said, uh, one of the worst losers of the day. Uh, to do, okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything you can say about Dropbox. Um, we did talk about this when the thing went public, uh, and my opinion has not changed, and that is, that the smartest guy in the room uh, was the LinkedIn guy who understood that he could not go it along, uh, alone and that by selling out to Microsoft at the time uh, was the smartest idea uh, that he had. And, you know, you're down with 14 million shares from previous lows of about 4 to 2 million shares. I think that tells you everything you need to know. And two... There's not a lot of people out there to buy them out. Um, you know, if you're talking about big web services kind of company, there's nothing these guys do that they couldn't do without paying a big premium for this. I've never really understood the idea. Some people in the den earlier in the day talking about why companies go public. And of course, there's only two reasons to go public. That is to raise a lot of cash, to expand your business, or let the insiders get out. And uh, I am more of the fan of the latter, especially for Uber and Lyft and Dropbox and a handful of these others. We'll be back. Yep, big bang. We're gone. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. And man, we were talking with the engineer what we're watching in TV lately, and man, there just isn't much. He's a big fan of uh, Fran Blanche, who's uh, kind of like a, uh, it was kind of electronics-like, but she got really wigged out when another guy actually built uh, the Apollo guidance, uh, the uh, Apollo guidance computer and beat her to the punch. She's been kind of dour since then this summer, but uh, eh, interesting stuff on YouTube. And it's kind of taken the place of a lot of stuff that I watch. Um, shorter time frames. Uh, of course, uh, my favorite thing in the last year uh, was uh, a guy from uh, Ice Pilots rebuilding a DC-3 uh, from basically a wreck. And uh, I forget how many days it was, but it's like 100 days or something from the day they started um, actually doing something to it. I think it took 150 days to do the whole thing, but 100 days they got uh, this junk pile flying. It was one of the original D-Day 3 planes. Uh, but to me, that was a much better story than everybody flying around and blowing things up. I'm really, really tired with the Marvel Universe. Uh, DXC Technology also dropped the Chalupa today, uh, down on huge volume, blowing away months and months of stuff. Um, it just doesn't get any worse than that. Uh, of course, uh, I didn't wear my shirt today, but Callaway Golf, uh, nice pop hire. Uh, again, it's holding enough, but you would have liked to see it hold a great deal more of the highs. And, of course, this time of year, you're just about at the end. I do like the way this thing consolidated back since the last gap higher. And that was on uh, the 12th of June. So it's had kind of a nice summer of going sideways. Uh, you got your pop higher. If this thing can hold for a few days, it may even do well into the fall. Uh, I'm not a big fan of buying retail clothing here, though. The Fun Company, F-N-K-O. I'm going to find out what this company does. Funco. Sounds like Ronco, doesn't it? Funco. Um, not much in this one. Still in the trading range. Not much going on. F-T-C-H. Eh, what do we have? Uh, gold, eh, Rangold Resources. Um, nope, just back up into this gap, but I don't think that means much. Of course, one of the big winners has been Turtle Beach um, software, or actually so hardware and software. Um, they sell a little bit of Apple uh, audio uh, editing, uh, kind of pro audio editing solutions. Uh, of course, they got up to about 35 bucks on a giant stampede to get in on headsets with boom microphones for gamers. Uh, it's been kind of selling off ever since then, but man, was there a run on that at one time. What else do we have? Uh, MBII, not much of a bounce in that one either today. MYO, Let's see about that one. Anything? Bueller. Bueller, maybe I got that symbol wrong. Um, Nectar Pharmaceuticals blew up. It's back down to a gap that goes back 
uh, to uh, March 20th of 2017. And so, again, you're really back into a huge move. Um, you had that huge move higher to a, a, a 111 and 36 cents on March 12th of 2018. Uh, massive ABCs, one after another, back to the starting point. And uh, you're there today with huge volume. So, eh, don't know that much about Nectar Pharmaceuticals. Uh, News Corporation uh, has been doing well, uh, even in a declining cable market. Uh, it still has more uh, viewers than any other, um, all combined actually. Uh, so it continues to be the leader, at least on cable news. Uh, back up to its July 1st high, 1379. Um, again, the uh, best buggy whip in a, in a uh, market that went to cars. Um, it's going to just be a declining market for cable for years to come. It's all about on demand. See that uh, they've done a bit of at least putting some of their news articles on uh, a video on uh, YouTube, they really need to get their own kind of uh, channel with some bite into it. Uh, Omros uh, Corporation, little gap up. These are the guys that sell the machines that swipe your uh, credit card at the checkout line, uh, but uh, nothing on this one. Still in a giant triangle. Uh, o N V O. Uh, again just continues to head lower uh, down to about 22 cents. These guys were in the 3D printing uh, part of the medical device uh, companies. This never really went anywhere. Uh, Overstock.com, uh, little bounce. This had been pretty heavily shorted on the way up. It is holding that March 9th, uh, excuse me, March 6th high, $23.23. That had 3 million shares. You did break through it with 9.3 million shares. So it is a valid breakout. I don't know if they're still trying to sell the marijuana link or the uh, Bitcoin link in it. Uh, but uh, I don't know if there's a great deal there, but the chart is telling me a little bit different. Uh, question of the den is addition to suites and headlines out in China. What's on the calendar ahead? Not that much. I think we're now waiting. Uh, if you're talking about big news events, I think the next big news event is the uh, rate uh, change for the Fed in September. And uh, I will look at the calendar uh, during a break. I, there's a bunch of smaller stuff, but I can't think of anything that actually makes any difference other than the rate cut uh, that's coming out. Uh, PCTY, which is Paylocity Holding Company, uh, valid breakout uh, and gap higher. Uh, in fact, you've had three gaps, so you're probably somewhere around an exhaustion move for this company. It is holding the high today with 613,000 shares. Uh, that's about twice of what the volume was on the 29th of last month. So not a bad looking chart other than the fact that you got uh, one, two, oh, you got two gaps. So you're really looking maybe for the third gap for this thing to uh, end up being uh, exhausted. Uh, pump. Uh, wasn't pumping today. It blew out to the previous low of December 26, 2018. That was 1127. Got to 1159 for the low today, uh, but uh, about five times the volume already. Rose, R O Z or R O S E, Rosetta Resources testing its previous low. Again, this is a two dollar stock, uh, but the only good thing, volume about half the previous December 20th low at a buck. 95. So you're fishing for penny stocks. Uh, that one back above 195 would be a test on lighter volume. Uh, Semantic, of course, uh, being bought out. Um, and that kind of old news, you had a gap. But um, I was just kind of underwhelmed by the premium uh, that this had for the buyout. Not much in the way there. We'll be back in a minute. You got plenty of time to give me a call or email me at path at tfnn.com. Oh, we got a couple already. We'll take a look.
I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found the computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. I uh, got a quick question from Hector. Uh, will 5G set to Skyworks back to the $100 level? That's one. Oh, here's the other one. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, we got a little bit of everything. Got a bunch of them. Wayne from Dallas asks about uh, Western Digital. Um, yeah, is the chart just not looking good for this thing headed south right now. Uh, it looks like it needs to make maybe one more run higher before it's going to turn south. Um, I tried to short it for a little while. Uh, didn't, you know, ended up stopping out. Um but uh, it should have fallen apart a great deal more over the last week. So it's going to need to probably go higher and find a better place to short it. So I'm not a big fan of that. Skyworks Solutions, SWKS, of course, on earnings uh, this week. Uh, and you've got, I'm not going to say a great deal of movement out here. Uh, but uh, I was going to say you really needed Apple uh, to have a big move on uh, that news and it was up a little bit i think that business is kind of flat right now for apple and uh skywork solutions we'll be talking about uh the new uh samsung 10 note uh at the 330 hour with tom o'brien uh kind of interesting technology around that at the moment uh and lastly we've got a question for pat asking uh what are options looking like and 
Like I said, it's, it's looking for something around 29.25 to 29.65 right now. So I'm kind of looking for a uh, sideways market probably into Wednesday of next week. So uh, if we can kind of grind around for another four or five days out here, I think we could probably set up uh, a lot of people shorting and maybe a push into next Friday's options expiration. That's what I'm looking at at the moment. As always, sell when you can, not when you have to. We will see you here Monday, same bat channel, same bat time. <laughs>